Hello, hello everyone, Crystal X here, back again with another video. Um, so as you can tell from the title of the video and what you're seeing on the screen right now, today I'm going to be reviewing the um, Fazbear Fight book box set with all 12 um, books. This is the final box set, and um, you can pick it up on multiple websites, I believe. it's The ones that I currently know of are... Amazon, Barnes and Noble, and um, Scholastic.com, and um, there's also I'm also going to be like taking a look at the Fazbear Frights graphic novel collection volume one. Um, so yeah, without further ado, let's get into it. All right, so I wanted to start the review off by taking a look at the. Fazbear Frights book set. Now, here's the back. Um, we have um, Into the Pit, Fetch, 135 AM, Step Closer, Bunny Call, Blackbird, Cliffs, Come Drop Angel, um, Puppet Carver, a Friendly Face, Prankster, and Felix the Shark. On the top, we just have New York Times Best Song Series, Five Nights at Freddy's, Fazbear Frights box set at 12. Books, volumes 1 through 11, and exclusive book of Rejected Stories. I have a little dent right there. Um, here we have the back, well, kind of like the back, um, it's Felix the Shark meets. Um, uh, the uh, box set, and Felix, this is Felix's mouth. Um, Five Nights at Freddy's, Fazbear Frights right here. The New York Times bestselling series, and the 12 books thing. Uh, the Scott Cawthon and all of the writers for the book, and here is it's kind of like the front, I guess, if you want to call it that. Um, so yeah, uh, the Ralpho from Bunny Call, um, box set is also in his mouth, like Felix. Um, Scott Cawthon and all the writers. Um, Five Nights at Freddy's, Fazbear Freddy's logo up here. Um, so yeah, let's take a look. Um, before I get a look of what's in there, I wanted to compare it to the other Five Nights at Freddy's box set, which is, this is the first original Five Nights at Freddy's box set. This features the first three books. Um, uh, it's, it's basically similar, just, um, the back is kind of different. This one has, like, kind of all the books, and this one just has, like, advertising for these to the kind of like the description. Speaking of the description, let me read that. Right now we have the complete Fazbear Frights short story collection in one box set. All 11 Fazbear Frights books are together for the first time in this amazing set, plus a 12th book of bonus stories, stories that didn't make the cut for the first 11 books. Five Nights at Freddy's creator Scott Cawthon spins three sinister novella length stories in each book of this collection from different corners of his series canon. Readers beware this collection of terrifying tales is enough to unsettle even the most hardened Five Nights at Freddy's fans. So now that we've taken a look and examined this box, let's get into looking at each book. All right, all right, so first up, um, we have the first book, which is um, Into the Pit. Has the same glossy kind of texture that most of the Five Nights at Freddy's books do have. We have the Into the Pit Spring Bonnie sitting in the ball pit here, and the Five Nights at Freddy's Fazbear Frights um, number one logo. And here we have Into the Pit. Um, on the side, same thing. You have Cawthon up there. And on the back, um, obviously these are the same kind of basically retail books that you can see um, on sh um, store shelves. So like right here, you can see Fetch and the Silver Eyes. It's not anything new like, um, what do you call it, like uh, Lally's Gang or Haps on the back. Um, just like these... Uh, older books, because this is, um, yeah, so we have this, um, by the way, this was ordered in a paperback format on Amazon, 
um, I think there's two, there's mass market paperback and paperback, I don't know if there's a difference, but, um, yeah, here it is, this book has stories one to three, this includes Into the Pit, Count the Ways, and To Be Beautiful, I said that out of order, Count the Ways is the last story, To Be Beautiful is the second story, so, yeah, now that we've taken a look at Into the Pit, let's get a look at the next book. Okay, so book two is Fetch right here. So here we have Fetch on the front cover here. We have Scott Cawthon, Andrea Wagner, and Carly Ann West, which are the writers of the stories. Um, so we have uh, Five Nights at Freddy's Fast Frights 2 logo. And here is Fetch. Um, Fetch is um, Same thing on the side. Um, AFK and Scholastic logo. And same thing uh, as the other book that I took a look at. Um, this is the basically retail retail book. Um, original retail book. So it's going to have the old stories. You know, like older books. So not anything recent. But yeah. Um, this book stories include um, Fetch, Lonely Freddy, and out of stock. Yeah, so with this book, taking a look at half now. So now that we've taken a look at this book, let's get into book three. All right, so here we have book three. This is 1.35 a.m. Weirdly enough, this one seems to have a different kind of texture than the other one. I'm not too um, concerned about the texture of the book. Just, just the book itself kind of has that same kind of glossiness to certain parts of the front cover. We have the Five Nights at Freddy's Fast Frights 3 logo, 1.35 a.m. right there. Um, time to wake up with um, Ella, which, as you know, is um, Charlie's youngest version. Uh, sorry for the spoiler. It's Charlie's youngest version in the original Casper, um, in the original Five Nights at Freddy's novel collection. Um, you have Scott Cawthon, Ellie Cooper, and Andrea Wagner. The book does seem to be a little messed up, um, on the top there and on the bottom right here, but I'm not too worried about it. Uh, here we have Cawthon up there, AFK, Scholastic Logo, and Fast Bear Fights 3, 1, 3, 5, a.m. On the back, this is kind of like a silhouette of Ella. Um, same thing as the other ones. I'm not going to dive too deep into that. Um, the description right here. And yeah, that's basically it for 1.35 a.m. Without further ado, let's get into book number four. Alright, so the books are kind of tilting. Um, so let me grab this one. Alright, next up we have Step Closer. Um, we have Foxy on the front cover, hiding behind his kind of like Pirate's Cove curtain. Um, his teeth, yellow glowing eye. Um, we have all the um, writers. We have Scott Cawthon here, Ellie Cooper, Kelly Para, I believe that's how you say it. Para, I don't know. You can tell me in the comments. Um, Andrea and Andrea Wagner. Uh, Five Minutes of Freddy's Fast Bear Fights 4 logo and Step Closer. Right there, um, at the top is like the number from the number one New York Times bestselling author. Um, on the side, it's the same basic stuff: Coffin, AFK, Scholastic, and all that other good stuff. Um, this one has all three of the books that we just took a look at, um, right here, and uh, yeah, that's pretty much it for Step Closer description. Um, price, well, at least retail price, it's nine ninety nine. The book set is like $69 on Amazon. But yeah. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it for Step Closer. So let's get a look at five. Alright, now let's get a look at book five. This one is Bunny Crawl. So here we have Ralpho with his symbols. Um, Scott Cawthon, Ellie Cooper, and Andrea Wagner. Five Nights at Freddy's, Fast Bear Fights, Book 5 logo, and Bunny Call right there. 
same kind of like texture no glossiness on Ralpho is what I can see but he does have little textures scattered throughout him like little like stuff on his eye and stuff um on the side same thing as the other ones and on the back this time we have all four of the books that we took a look at last time. Um, I don't know why there's hair on here. Maybe from my dog. I, I couldn't be too sure. But yeah, here we have this and the silhouette of Ralpho in the background. Um, there's more Five Nights at Freddy's to explore and, you know, all four of the books. And same retail price. It's like $9.99, okay? Like $10. AFK, an imprint of Scholastic, and all that copyright stuff. Um, yeah. So that's book five. All right, so time for book six. We have Blackbird here. Um, so yeah, so you have Blackbird on the front. Scott Cawthon, Kelly Parra, I think that's how you say it. Yeah, again, um, you can correct me in the comments all you want. Um, Andrea Wagner, Five Nights at Freddy's, Fazbear Frights number six logo. And here, Blackbird, right there. Um, on the side, same thing as the other ones. Logo, Blackbirds, Cawthon at the top, and the AFK and Scholastic, right there. On the back, it's changed back to only two books. We have Into the Pit and the Silver Eyes graphic novel. Um, there's more Five Nights at Freddy's to explore there. And um, the description and stuff. Uh, copyright stuff. Again, um, $9.99. Uh, aka $10 for US price. I forgot to talk about the Canadian, Canada price. Um, it's the same thing for the books over here. Um, that is $12 as well, or $13. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. Um, yeah, so that's Blackbird. Let's take a look at the next book. Alright, now time to take a look at book seven. We have the cliffs here. Um, we have, uh, um, this kind of, like, Toy Freddy with, um, a little speaker, similar to, like, Fun Time Freddy. The eyes popping out, stuffing and s everything. We have Scott Cawthon, Ellie Cooper, and Andrea Wagner. Five Nights at Freddy's, Fazbear Frights, number seven logo, and The Cliffs. We have on the side, same basic thing, Cawthon up there, Fazbear Frights, number seven, The Cliffs logo. And AFK Scholastic. Um, Blackbird is now on the back along with the Twisted Ones graphic novel. Um, same retail price and stuff. We have the cover design, um, purse and, and description and stuff. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it for the, um, the cliffs. So, yeah, let's, let's get into the next book. Alright, books are still falling here. Um, next up is book 8. Um, so these are basically all the books for the last box set that was released before this one, which is books 1 through 8. This one is Gumdrop Angel. Has the same kind of feel, texture. I think the eyes have the glossiness. Um, you have Scott Cawthon and the, um, Andrea Wagner. Five Nights at Freddy's is Fast Frights, number 8 logo. And Gumdrop Angel, that's right there. Um, Gumdrop Angel on the front. You know, see you know, like gumdrops and all kinds of different candies and you know, all that good stuff. Cawthon right there. Five Nights at Freddy's is Fast Frights, number 8 logo. Like Gumdrop Angel, AFK and Scholastic. And on the back, we have the Cliffs and the Twisted Ones. And um, kind of like fading... Of the front cover character, Drop Angel. Yeah, so that's pretty much it um, for that. Um, yeah, same retail price and stuff. So let's, let's, let's take a look at book number nine. Alright, so here we are in book number nine. Um, we have the puppet carver. Um, we got, we're back to a kind of like a more standout, glossy texture. Five Nights at Freddy's Faster Fights number nine logo. Um, the puppet carver right there. We have Scott Cawthon and Ellie Cooper. This time, um, the New York Times bestselling series. I think it changed a while ago to stop having the number one, but I could never be too sure. 
Um, Coffin, uh, Five Nights at Freddy's, Fazbear Fights, number nine, the Puppet Carver logo, AFK and Scholastic, Icon, um, Gumdrop Angel, and the Twisted Ones, right, graphic novel right there, retail prices, um, description, there's more Five Nights at Freddy's to explore, and, you know, all that copyright stuff nobody cares about. Um, ooh, wow, that was loud. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it for, um, Five Nights at Freddy's Book 9, Puppet Carver. So, let's get a look at the next book. Alright. Okay, so three more books to go. Um, we have, next up, Friendly Face. This one seems to be a thicker book than most of the other ones. We have Five Nights at Freddy's, Fazbear Frights, book number 10, Friendly Face. I've never read this one yet, so I don't know what this is on the front cover. Probably has to do with the friendly face story, but here we have um, a human face on what seems to be a cat body. Um, Scott Cawthon and Andrea Wagner right there. Um, the New York Times bestselling series. Um, yeah, this thick spine here. Friendly face down there. Book number Fazbear Fights number ten. And yeah, okay, it's Scholastic down there. Um. Oh wow, this is kind of weird. Um. So, as we can see here, we have the Puppet Carver, which we just took a look at, and here is the Twisted Ones graphic novel cover. This is actually the work in progress cover. I don't know what, go went, wrong, what went wrong here, but I'm sure it'll probably get fixed um, another time. But hey, it's cool to have kind of a special print like that. So let's take a look at book 11, and then we'll get into the exclusive Felix the Shark book. Alright, book 11 now. Here we have the Prankster. Um, as once again, I haven't read this book yet. Um, we have a little, um, I guess, animatronic claws coming out here. Um, this guy holding a flashlight. Scott Cawthon, Ellie Cooper, and Andrea Wagner. Uh, Five Nights at Freddy's, Fazbear Fights, old number book 11 logo, and Prankster. So that's right there. Um, we have Cawthon, which is not aligned very well. Five Nights at Freddy's, Fazbear Frights, number 11 um, logo, plus Prankster. And on the back, we're back to the Twisted Ones cover, uh, graphic novel cover, being the official one. And Friendly Face, right to there. Um, there's more Five Nights, Freddy, Five Nights at Freddy's to explore. The, um, the description, and copyright stuff, and retail prices. Yeah, so that's pretty much it for Fazbear Fights 11. So without further ado, let's finally get into the exclusive 12th and 12th book. Okay, so finally, after going through every single one of these books, we finally made it to the last one here. We have Felix the Shark, and I just realized I stopped telling you guys each story in the books over there. Um, um I don't, I will think I'll leave the, uh, the book stories in the description, so if you want to go check those out, look in the description. But here, we have a book that you've probably been waiting for, is the, uh, Felix the Shark. We have Five Nights at Freddy's, Fester Fights, number 12 logo. Um, Felix the Shark right here. Um, Scott Cawthon, Ellie Cooper, and Andrea Wagner. Felix the Shark is on the front cover and stuff. Five Nights at Freddy's Fazbear Fights is number 12. Felix the Shark. And the AFK and Scholastic. And because it's more recent, we have the Twisted Ones graphic novel and the Fourth Closet graphic novel. Um, the uh, description. There's more Five Nights at Freddy's to explore. Copyright stuff. And this is not intended for individual resale. It's actually only exclusive to this box set. So it doesn't have the scan code or anything. That's why it says not intended for individual resale. But yeah, it's, it's pretty cool. So now we should get into graphic novel. Alright, so now that we've taken a look at all of the novel novellas of the Five Nights at Freddy's Fazbear Frights books. Let's take a look at Fazbear Frights Graphic Novel Volume 1. Um, we have the Plush Trap Chaser on the front cover. Um, Scott Cawthon. Um, Andrea 
think it's Andrea. No, no, no. Here. So, I'm not quite sure. I think Cooper is Ellie Cooper. And West, I'm not quite sure what West is. Um, I'm not even going to dig into this. There's probably um, a bunch of stuff on here. This is uh, adapted by Christopher um, Hastings, I believe that is. We have the graphics logo here. Sorry about that. Clear that screen up so you can see better. Hold up. Okay, graphics. Um, Scholastic logo. Planet Fazbear Fights graphic novel collection volume one logo. Coffin. And from this price. Up there. Um, we have we hear Lally's game, the fourth closet, and a friendly face. There's more fine laser phrase to explore and graphics and print. And yeah, it's, that's pretty much it for that. Um, so comparison wise to the original graphic novels, they are the same kind of like size. Glossy textures are kind of similar. And um their their height is their their height is pretty close. I th I think they're the same height. Um, some books are gonna be thicker. Um, this one features Into the Pit, To Be Beautiful, and Out of Stock. Yes, it did skip Count the Ways. I'm pretty sure it's going to be in one of the other ones. But, yeah, here's a quick flip through. We have, um, Out of Stock chapter right here. Um, To Be Beautiful chapter. And, let's see here, Into the Pit chapter kind of weird yeah so there, there's different artists for each each story which i think is kind of weird um i don't really like it because i think it would have been better if they just you know took their time and had one artist do it and they don't have to rush anything but you know that's perfectly fine they wanted to get these some of these artists in the spotlight and i completely understand that and um i'm perfectly fine with it um Art styles, I, I'm not really, I don't really care about it. I know people have been complaining about the plush trap chaser design, and uh, it doesn't look the most appealing, but um, I don't really care about it. It's, 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 it's not really much on my mind. But yeah, that's pretty much it. So thank you for tuning in. Um, fellow, fellow crystals, this was the review on the current Five Nights at Freddy's. Fazbear Frights books, including the 12 novels and the graphic and the current first graphic novel. Tune in next time to see me review um, maybe the second volume sometime soon and a full in-depth review will be coming soon on this book once I'm done reading it. There, it will be split into three different parts for each story. You know, art styles and stuff. So, yeah. Thank you for tuning in. And I hope you all have a wonderful rest of your day. Thank you for watching. And goodbye.